In today's video, we're covering six tips to help you build muscle, even if you have poor genetics. And tip number one is crucial, and it is do not give up hope. You don't know how many people message me all the time, I've got poor genetics and I can't build muscle. It's just not fair. At the end of the day, the worst thing you can actually do is just giving in from the get go, thinking you're never gonna see progress. <laughs> you dwelling on it is not gonna help you build muscle. Whether you're overweight or underweight, or whatever your circumstances, you can always improve yourself. Tip number two is, if you're starting from a hard gainer's perspective, so you're somewhat underweight, you may need to spend some considerable time in a nice lean bulk. I would say personally for ideally a year, minimum nine months, but realistically, as long as you can take it. So I'm telling you to forget that main gaining philosophy that's been floating around lately. If you're someone that is actually underweight and you're a true hard gainer, you can't expect to eat similar calories to what you currently are right now. And just going to the gym and expecting to build a considerable amount of muscle. Well, that's not gonna work. And you need to actually get into a surplus and really fuel your body to keep pushing itself to improve your workout and training intensity and volume over time so for someone underweight looking to build muscle the best and efficient way to get there is to get into a gradual calorie surplus eating a high protein diet try training at least three to four times per week i'll probably say four if you can if you really feel like you're a true hard gainer and the reason why I'm suggesting ideally say for one year of just lean bulking the whole way through is purely because muscle building takes time. So when you hear people sometimes saying I'm going to bulk in like three months, realistically, unless you're on or something along those lines, you're not going to build a considerable amount of muscle in three months. You can definitely improve, but if you actually want to really overhaul your whole physique, you need to spend a good portion of time really focusing on that one goal and a year of solid effort. Trust me, you'll make a much bigger difference. Any change? Change? Yeah, big change. Tip number three is you need to be more optimal and consistent with your training and overall consistency across the board. And this doesn't mean you have to train seven days a week, but it does mean if you're a true hard gainer, you struggle to pack on the muscle, you may find that you have to train maybe four to five times per week to try and match the progress of a friend, for example, that may get away training three days a week and maybe seeing the same or even more results than you. It may sound like it's unfair, but unfortunately that's life. You know what I mean? Some people have great muscle building genetics. Some people are tall, some people are short. There's various things that's gonna impact your physique and how you're gonna look. So obviously the best way for you to try and improve yourself is to make sure everything you're doing is more optimal. You don't have to become super obsessive, but just make sure that you're nailing the things that you can nail because at the end of the day, we all have to deal with the cards we're dealt. Following on from the last tip, you need to progressively track your workouts. And if you find that a little bit too jarring, you don't have to track every single thing you do in the gym, but at least track the main compound lifts you're doing. So your bench press, your deadlift, your squat, or your barbell row, things like that. There's many apps you can use. I'll try and throw some on screen. You can also record some of your sets as well to kind of see if you're improving your form over time. And also track your physique via progress photos, say once every two weeks. Uh, don't just rely on the scale. Visuals is what matters the most. I always say it's visuals over numbers. So don't focus on a scale too heavily. You want to over time look better. This tip now, I guarantee it'll probably eliminate some of you watching, but the tip is before labeling yourself a true hard gainer and you've got poor genetics, be sure you have at least followed the previous tips for a good solid year of consistent effort. You'll appreciate this someday. Until you've thoroughly pushed yourself and actually saw how much progress you can make when you actually pay attention to your workouts, your calories, and then compare your progress photos over time. So you can't just work out a month or so and not see much progress and just say you're a hard gainer. Number six, what I highly recommend, try and reduce the amount of super unrealistic physiques that you follow on social media. Do this whether they are natural or enhanced. At the end of the day, you may think that this is gonna be motivation, but in the long term, I guarantee it does more damage than good. What? Oh no! Because it normally does one of two things. Either one, makes you think you can attain the physiques, and normally, these super unrealistic physiques are either on steroids or they just have very, very good genetics that as you as a hard gainer may not achieve. I'm not saying that to discourage you, I'm just saying this to be realistic. Or number two, what it often does is once you realize you may not be able to attain it, it probably put you in more despair than actually encouraging you to get those physiques. If you just kind of feel bad about your own body. You know what I mean? If you're watching this video as a hard gainer, the chances are that those physiques may not be in your ballpark. Still try and strive to build a great physique for yourself, but don't look at someone online and go, I'm getting that physique. Whether it is the someone that's on steroids or the super elite level genetics, it was probably still skew your reality of what a natural physique can actually attain over time. 
Anyways, people, I hope these tips helped you guys out. If so, please hit the like button on the video. 